good time of day, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone's doing well. Let me know uh, what the broadcast looks like. Um, after the last time I've uh, lowered the bitrate of the video a bit and uh, enabled hardware acceleration for the video encoding, although um, I'm running this off an old laptop, so uh, not particularly powerful, so I don't know if it's going to be better or worse. So you guys let me know, all right? Um, so yeah, this is my... Um, my second Sunday in a row of doing the obscure FPS games of questionable quality. I had fun last time. I hope you did too. Some of you are returning. And I thought I might just do it again. There is no shortage of um, not particularly great first-person shooters out there, so um, definitely something uh, that's you know I, I I made a rule for myself a long time ago to not really do video reviews of games that I don't consider good. Uh, plenty of people. You know, come down on games for humor, and I didn't want to do that. And you know, just it's okay. I, like I'm just gonna not touch those games that I don't think are good. There's plenty of good games or interesting games that I find um, review worthy or notable for some reason. Pardon. Um, but I can certainly play those games on stream, though. So uh, that's that. Just like uh, last time, uh, I am now accepting tips. Link in the description. All the money raised goes directly to uh, uh, to to buy my food. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. Well, let's give it uh, one more minute and wait for other people to arrive, and uh, then we'll begin. Space Debris is a, is a classic track, isn't it? I know some people hate it because it's so overplayed, but... The very few uh, tracker tunes that are... Um, uh, that are... <laughs> uh, that are as classic. Let's move along. So, what do we got today? Uh, the name of the very first track was uh, was Banana Split. How old am I? Old enough. Hello, Australia. Um, well, uh, as many have people have pointed out uh, in chat, uh, <laughs> uh, our first game is going to be interesting. And before we sort of move on to how I'm going to be playing it, let me just um, uh, show off um, this game in, 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 a, in a DOS environment. Um, so yeah. So the first game of this evening is uh, a, a Taiwanese first-person shooter called Rakan Shaolin Legend of the Seven Paladins Oops 
Let me see. Bam. So it's uh, it's noteworthy for being one of the first. Well, first of all, one of the earlier Taiwanese 3D games, but it's also a game made using the build engine from 3D Realms. Now, they licensed licensed the engine and started developing a game, but never paid 3D Realms. And 3D Realms was like, all right, if you're not gonna pay us, then just don't make the game. And the company was just like. Okay, and they still made the game. For the longest time, it, uh, this game... It wasn't even known that the game actually... That the full version of the game actually was released, but it was. Since then, uh, boxes and five and a quarter uh, inch uh, floppies and um, all, all kinds of stuff surfaced. But first, let me just show something off. Yeah, it gets some ads here. Um, yeah, it's not a particularly well-programmed game, so I, I apologize for the uh, vomit-inducing head bobbing, but uh, but uh, yeah, here it is. There's some ads for the Apogee games, uh, in addition to some other Ascent games, because they were supposed to be partners. And of course the train, there was a train in the in the original build demo, so of course they had to have a train. I love this door that like squishes. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna show off how this game functions um, in dust environment before we move on to how I'm actually gonna play it. Enjoy this uh, wonderful train ride. Ah, oh, what of you? Oh, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> Always fun. I do like the music though. So here's the thing. We're gonna go into the main hall, and here's the. You can select one of the seven paladins. When first using them, you'll see the stats. You have a melee attack, a magic attack, and a ranged attack. For each one of them, they all have slightly different stats. Uh, honestly, they're not that different. And also, um, different first weapon for each one. I'll pick a sword guy. Not like it matters in this particular case, and you'll see why. Uh, difficulty? Well, let's select medium. Did I enjoy Tech War? Well, I enjoyed some aspects of Tech War. Okay, and here's the biggest problem with this game. Okay, the projectiles of enemies are tied to the refresh rate. So you just get you just get annihilated. Woo. Oh uh, well, so that's that. So how are we gonna play this game? Obviously it doesn't function too well. Well luckily, and if somebody would told me this just a few uh, years ago I wouldn't have believed that it was going to happen, but we're going to play this game using Build a GDX. And... Uh, whoop. Um, and Build GDX is a... Um, reverse engineered source port, partially source port, partially reverse engineered port, uh, of many build games. At this point, almost all of them. And it supports uh, Legend of the Seven Paladins. So, we get to play this game in HD and with fixed bugs. For as much as I can handle. Never really played much of it. For obvious reasons that I've pointed out before. And, um, uh, uh, yeah. Nice menu. Ah, look at that. And we're still getting the head bobbing, but... It's nowhere near as annoying. Hey, it's Raptor. For all you Raptor fans in chat. Ooh. Ah, 
here we go. Nice relaxing train ride before all hell breaks loose. So show of hands in chat, who played this game before? Maniquare, thank you very much. Much appreciated. So. See something. Uh, will I ever do uh, a stream or review of Scani Special Edition? I might do a stream at some point. Uh, or or a review. Yeah, I haven't played a lot of it. Um, so, eventually I'll get around to it, I'd say. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Now, okay, the train is gone. So, let's check out what's behind these doors. This is our sort of a museum of the objects. It's like a, a root of some kind. Bonuses, keys. What's here? Oh, it's ads. Devil from Hell 3D coming soon. I don't think that ever happened. Without end 3D coming soon. Whatever that is. Yeah, they had big plans. I don't know if they ever made any more games, but... I mean, I hope they did. I also like this when there's sort of interactive things. What's this? Oh, it's a loading screen. Cool, cool, cool. And what's here? This is... Sound and music settings. Pretty neat. So, same thing. Let's select the same dude. I like him. I do like this music. Let's do medium. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh, I just picked up a ranged weapon. And the thing is, you have multiples of ranged weapons. And they use different ammo, but they're about the same effectiveness. And you also have um, uh, ranged magic, which also which uses the same ammo, mana. And they have different effects. And of course, you have your melee weapon. Well. Oh! Now I just picked up some needles or whatever they are. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so here's your thing, and I picked up a couple. So I got those needles. They go in a straight line. I got those knives. They also go in a straight line. I don't know what's the difference. Those discs, they bounce a little bit. And these balls. Also bounce a little bit. I honestly... Uh, don't know what the differences are or why they are there, but you know, whatever. And yeah, they all use different ammo, but like the ammo is abundant, and uh, it doesn't feel like they're one is more effective than the other. Oh, I picked up another. And yeah, there's also these, they also bounce a bit. Oh, I guess this this thing's with the... That's a door. Well. 
Oh! Let's use some magic. It sounds like that attack is uh, saying a Russian swear word. So yeah, big improvement on fixing, fixing those... Uh, Spam attacks, but by the way, this port gives you an option to re-enable um, the spam attack. If you're into that sort of thing. Probably shouldn't waste mana on the... On these dudes. Whoa. Huh. Okay, I, I'm not digging this weapon. Give me some needles. I guess the creator of this game was a fan, fan of Dragon Ball. I've never seen a single episode of uh, Dragon Ball in my life. Yes, I'm one of those people. I don't think I've ever been in this corner of a map. Oh. Whoa! What does the book do? Well, to be honest, this is pretty easy so far with non-spammable um, attacks from en from enemies. Uh, before, if you were to play. Oh. Not a fan of that gasping sound effect. So, where's that, um... Oh, wait. Oh, I got the shurikens, too. Let's see the shurikens. Well, and this. This is... This looks like it's the most uh, effective ranged weapon. But let's see the shurikens. Like, what's the difference? Alright, let's see. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, there's those one of those heads. Oh yeah, well those feel fairly effective actually. Yeah, but before when you played like the broken version of the game. Oh shit. Uh, that game version of the game put some hair on your chest. Can I kill those heads? I am guessing that's a no. Oh, I guess the knives are more effective at the closer range. I don't understand how the damage system works in this. We need Civi for this. Uh, this texture was used in sh uh, Shadow War and Blood. Uh, possibly, although... Oh, I just went around the entire level. Where's the map? Oh. Who am I? Who am I playing? What is this? I'm a bound dude. So it looks like I never explored that away. Now, I have keys, right? I picked up keys before. Did I open any... Did I ever open any door? Like, this dude usually takes a lot of... Okay, three. Okay, so this is more effective. Look again, there's a key, but what for? There's some uh, chocolates on the... In the pool of blood, or whatever it is supposed to be. Have I played Witch Haven? Yes, I have played Witch Haven. I 
I'm glad that uh, Witch Heaven is some somebody's favorite game. Okay, so I left 35 blue dudes. Wow, it's nice that they show you... So there's five enemies in the entire game, and they show you how many left out of which. All right, let's save. When they... Whoa. Okay, let's see... Uh, See, like, what, what do you, what do you not want to do in this case? Like, these are all enemies with projectiles, and you're in a corridor that makes it impossible to, to sidestep. Whoa, 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 Holy shit! It is pretty tough because the enemies are just so tanky. How about Lens of Lore? I have played Lens of Lore. Listen, if there is a DOS game and your question is have I played it, in like, if it's like a, a big commercial release and not an obscure shareware, 95% of the time the answer is yes. Yeah, Witch Heaven is a bit janky. But probably the better of Capstone games anyway. And definitely better than Witch Heaven 2. And you can climb arrows. Not the mechanic, but I always like that aspect of it. So this is super repetitive, but it's okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Alright, this is the shurikens. Like, no, they're not... They're not different... ...in attack strength. Like, they, they, they're literally the same. Why are you given so many weapons then that are exactly the same? Just to show off? Ugh. Yeah, I'm running low on health. And how do you pick up health anyway? Is there health? Ah! <laughs> how obscure is Solar Winds? Not too obscure. I mean, it's it's from one of the three uh, major shareware publishers, so... This guy's dodge roll, actually, like, they do avoid the attacks when they dodge roll. Oh. I have no health. Because you can't avoid those freaking attacks in those corridors. Of course, there's a door and behind it, there's a million enemies! Yeah, okay, so this is like the least powerful. Because even the blue guy goes down. Why is this guy ghostly? Did you see it? Wait, aren't... are they all transparent? Why are they transparent? Did somebody... wait. Oh, there's a wizard. A new enemy. Oh, this game's so much fun. Okay. Oh, there's a scroll. 
flowers you can pick up. Like... Oh, I got new magic. Let's see. So I got this magic. And I got this magic. And I got this magic. Alright, let's try some magic. And also, let's save, because I have no lives and... I feel like I'm gonna die. Aha! Ooh. What's this other magic? Ah, I died! Alright, you know what? No, I am gonna load. Wait, what? It doesn't... Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's see what that's like. Where did this other guy come from? Yeah, I, um... Let me see if I can at least beat this level. This guy just literally just comes out of the wall. And I'm just gonna cheese it. Yeah, he just attacks with magic. Like how like how not powerful is this magic? Everything takes three three freaking shots and no health. Look at it. No health. And I picked up another magic. Which has the same animation. Is this one? Like, what's the difference? Yeah, music is, is, is pretty great. Is there a door? Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Well, wasted this one. Well, now I know what to do. Let's try it. Let's try and using the nuke spell. And... Oh, no. Take two. <laughs> Somehow I feel like there's gonna be a lot more of them. supposed to <sighs> all right let's uh, let's see if I can walk around and pick up some health I'm still yet to like figure out what picks pick pickups are health no oh, so there was a door is there a door oh wait is it a secret door there that I just Ah! Also, don't use the balls. I mean, don't use the... Well, I think I got full mana anyway, yeah. Ah! Oh, there's some prisoners. Okay, so maybe I'm not meant to go this way. Yeah, something tells me this is not... Uh, this wasn't... And how was I supposed to know this? Was I supposed to literally look at the map and figure out that there's a hidden passage here? And also, what happens when I open this? Oh, well... Surprise! Well, oops! Okay, couple more tries, and then we'll move on to our next, um, next, uh, jank. In fact, I have a lot on the agenda, um, 
Who wants some slav jank up front? If you want slav jank, you know. Let me know. Okay, this is... Oh! There's splash! There's splash damage! Cool! Ah, oh, sh Shit, I don't... Um... Actually, last rights is on my... On my... On my agenda, so to speak. It's on my list. Okay, what's this? Whoa. Oh, that's an exit! So what was that... Uh... Okay, new song. We gotta play because it's a new song. Give me health! Why can't I have health? Or is one of those, like, magics sucking health out of enemies? What's going on? Also, what if I go here? Is it just a trap? That's so dumb. And why there's two sec... <gasps> love these games. I love them. Is it the same song? Oh god, I didn't want to use this. Music is the high point of this game, I do agree. Ah. Can barely dodge. Come on, come on. Like, I'm supposed to do this for every enemy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I don't know what's going on. Am I. Also, where am I getting health from? Oh, so I am sucking health out of... out of enemies. Oh, this is so dumb. Or what... how did I get my health restored? Confusing, confusing, confusing. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got balls of steel! Oh, how's everybody doing? Uh, Extreme Pain Bros, the worst of all Doom clones. You haven't played. You haven't played the the truly awful things. Well, to be honest with you, I, I think we've seen just about all this game has to offer. I, I think every whoa, 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 whoa! I think everybody agrees, right? Like now we've seen the final of the fifth type of enemy. Is that just an exit? Can you just exit? Can I just? What if I just run? Oh, I guess I can't open it, huh? Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I... F uh, worse than... <laughs> yeah... Taco Bell Toasted Temple Challenge isn't even that bad. It's playable. There's some games that are literally unplayable. But I think it's time to... move on. From this. I'm not sure what you mean by swaying effect. Yeah, let's uh, leave this and go back. Um, go back to DOS. Whoop. And um, what we're gonna play? No. Is 
Claudio, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what we're going to play is a little game called... Yeah, this thing doesn't want to auto send her, so who cares? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, lethal Tender. Let's see, let me just take a look in chat. You bought Extreme Paint Brawl at the yard sale for $1 and I still feel ripped off. Well, let me tell you a collector story. Sorry, everybody will have to wait for a bit. Um, I own the jewel case of... Uh, I have I have two copies of Extreme Paint Brawl. Mostly because the second... Uh, I was on eBay once and I saw a nice boxed copy of um, a game... Um, uh, oh, crap. Uh, what's that vampire RPG that's actually really good? Uh, something of Darkness. Wow, having a brain fart. Uh, good game in the box for like five dollars. So I picked it up, and uh, and uh, the seller, I guess, figured out that, that he sort of undersold me, and 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 they sent me not a box copy of um, uh, of that game, but instead. They sent me a jewel case of Extreme Pain Brawl. That just felt like a deliberate, like, kick of the balls. Um, uh, yeah, so that's... Operation Body Count. There are worse games than Operation Body Count. Chasm the Rift. Chasm the Rift is... I'm not a fan of that game. It's cool that you can shoot limbs, and it's cool that it's a Turbo Pascal game that runs on the 486, and it kind of looks like Quake, but it's boring because it's on a single level. It gets old quick. It's essentially Wolfenstein 3D. It's not even Doom. Veil of Darkness. That's correct. Veil of Darkness, by the way, is a very good game. Very underrated. But right now, we're going to play Lethal Tender. And I don't know how many cycles I'm going to need. Let's do 7,000. Um, and also... Probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, I hope there's going to be sound. Have you ever played the Doom World, uh, Cold Sky? Maybe, of course. I think I actually have it installed. Uh, yeah, it's really cool that it crashes the game. I do. I like that it crashes the game at one point. If you if you press one of those Windows things. So Lethal Tender, developed by Pie in the Sky Software. Pie in the Sky Software are known for creating Pie in the Sky 3D game construction kit, a sort of first-person shooter making software. And this game predates it. It's actually sort of the first iteration of that engine, even though that's not the same engine technically. The 3D game construction kit was a rewrite of this engine. This is like a mostly assembler. Um, uh, the Pi 3D is a rewrite in C. Um, so, um, yeah, let's see what we got here. What's, okay, well, that's broke of it. Um, so what's really cool, this is, well, you'll actually see what's cool about it. If you've never played this game, and this is considered to be a bad game by many, but I, I just cannot. Uh, it's, it's, to me, that's really, really cool for many, many reasons, and you'll see why. And yeah, no sound. Let's tr let's try it again. I wonder what I need to do to, to to get the sound work. And it's one of those games where where the sound is really wonky. Uh, uh, 
that's just a Christmas. Uh, the one that uh, LGR showed. It's one of the Christmas games made in Pi in the Sky 3D. You can you can make your own games, and um, you could even publish them. Well, let's try this box X. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Is there ad lib sound effects? All right, well, let's just do. Well, first of all, you have it's sort of a hub level game, and you have an inventory. You can pick up items at will. It's limited. Let's see here. So you get your mission. I mean, I could use PC speaker. Yeah, I guess. Um, and there are, well, let me show it off actually. Let's save the game. Yeah, I guess PC speaker better than nothing, right? Um, and uh, you can jump, which again, 1993, and there's custom death messages for everything. Oh, and there's physics. Let's jump off the roof. And you get this. <laughs> Fatal fall. And it gives you the date. But it's actually like an open mission game. So here we're on the roof, and we're going to go inside. And you can come back, you can move between levels, and it saves all the, all the stuff between the levels. It's pretty cool for 1993. And look, there's like some simple 3D objects, like it supports... It really didn't really support much, this is just a trick. But, for example, you can clearly see that uh, there's a table, just a surface. Those are, you know, it's it uh, sort of supports... Okay, whatever that sound was. And here, what we can do is... And we're going to pick up that uniform. Uh... Obviously, the rarest game ever is a game in my, my head that hasn't played. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, if it runs on DOS, I'll play it. See, I wasn't supposed to alert them because I'm wearing a uniform, but oh well. I mean, who cares? Nobody cares. You also sort of get location-based damage, but it's not like it matters. And you can drop items at will too, like this. Oh, let's drop this uniform, pick up this uniform, not like it matters. And also we don't need to kill all these guys, to be honest with you, there's nothing here. So now we are like in an open space. Again, 1993, look, there's a house. You can go inside a house. Should use the grenade. And yeah, when you get like shot in the leg, you start uh, like turning is difficult and uh, all this other stuff. There's some. Um, okay, there is. As you can see, there. Um, there's gas and barrels. Isn't there a health pack? 
Oh, I guess I picked it up. Obviously, if you shoot it... Okay, I can't walk straight. The gas tank blows up. It's pretty cool. Frame rate on this, I mean, it ran, fair, it ran okay. Not exactly like this, but... It's not that complex. Let's go inside a house. There's your house. There's a note that shows you there's a, se a secret passage behind the dump. Pistol, key. Uh, I don't need the um, uniform anymore. Uh oh. So I got the key, now let's uh, find the secret passage behind the dump. This is the dump. Do I ever play adventure games? I do, just not on streams. I can't stream and play adventure games. That's what I found out when I started streaming. Yeah, let's try selecting um, Sound Blaster now and uh, see what happens. This is from Frogman, but uh, it's it's made by Pie in the Sky Studio. Okay, I think I just... Uh, yeah, there are sound effects. Okay. There's an official reminder to shut down the generator before servicing the electrified door. We already lost two men. Okay, so I need to shut down the generator. And again, like, this is a first-person shooter, but there are sort of missions. I think you can just shoot the generator and we'll shut off the lights, but I don't think I need to do that just yet. Notice to all personnel. For security reasons, the door access password will be changed to the data given below. Destroy this note after reading. Okay, so where's uh, there's some nice urinals? Yeah, this is very much a thinking man FPS. It's actually also fairly short. If you if you don't get shot, once you the shooting part is the worst part of this shooting game. But yeah, this is much more like adventure -y. Way ahead... Oh, I can't open it. Way ahead of its time. And it also, if you notice, like it, it, uh, like the doors open sideways and stuff. Something you didn't see for a while. So it's quite impressive. Oh, so now they just open the door for you. So it has that trick, I guess, where you can just yeah. And collision detection is really wonky. That's another thing. up that key card what am i going to drop what am i going to drop uh top secret thing oh crap Ugh. oh that's an electrified door so i should have uh shut off the uh, the generator hello hello everyone Probably save. Oh. 
All right, where was that generator? No, I'm not going the right way, I feel like. Oh, yes, I am. Let's just save in case I... You can screw up, so... Okay, and now I can go through that door. See? Really cool. What other game in 1993, like the first person shooter where you could just uh, uh, do all this stuff? Oh, I need... Crap. Oh, let's drop something. Let's drop a bomb. Down or up, I wonder. Well, let's try up. Oh, wait, that's where I came from. Isn't it? Wait a second. So why did I open that electrical door for? Oh, yeah. So, wait, what? Or did I come out on the other side? I guess I came out on the other side. Okay, yeah. Here we go. So let's save here. I'm familiar with this game, so I think I'm gonna try what what to do. Uh, Ultima Underworld. Ultima Underworld is not a um, um, a first person shooter. Was the definitive stealth game for DOS in your opinion? Um, I don't know. Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, nope. Drowned in goo. <laughs> yep. Let's try it again. Honestly, you don't even need to do this. Let's go. Let's go further down. There are two different boxes for this game. I didn't know that. Okay, so here's the thing. This is like a puzzle, too. Uh, you need to shoot those things in sort of order, and there's a rotating door that you can see that you also need to stop. Okay, let's try this. This is difficult. Ah. So now... I have to shoot this thing when this door is in the state that... Ah, crap. All right, let's save again. I don't feel like we're doing any of this. I also feel like I, I missed something and I, and I messed up. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four five six one two three four five six uh i guess i should have taken the key first right yep okay No, I'm not going to play the fortress of dr adiaki uh th that to me is like the worst one of the... It's just not enjoyable to me. Okay, let's uh, learn from my mistakes. Um, crap. Oh. Yeah, I need the... I don't have the gun anyway. I don't know why I'm... I, I forgot to pick up the gun. Um, so, I don't have a pistol. Okay, let's do this. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's hope for the best. Yes. Okay. Woo. We might be beating this game. Uh, Space Station Escape. Space Station Escape is not a real game. It's an example from the book.
which I have. Uh, let's see, Shadowcaster. Um, Shadowcaster is uh, fun, but uh, you know, it 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 could have been a better game. That's one thing. Okay, so now I can go here and s and get some supplies, although I have no room for them. There's a secret door here. Hey, and this is our lethal tender. Yeah, let's get some money. Hey. Crap, what do I drop? Not used any of the grenades. So let's get some. Yeah, greed is good. Greed works. <laughs> get the gold. And now we can go to our main mission, I think. Okay, so what needs to happen is these things... Okay, oh, here we go. Uh, there are eight panels on the, floor, on the floor in front of each pump. Due to the leakage of explosive areas, do not bring any open flame near these panels. Any spark could trigger a massive explosion. That's important. And also, this is where we're going to exit. So you need to blow this, these things up. And then... So here's a key card. Let's get that key card. And let's read this note. Read the. N this is the only safe area in the pump facility. Please do not go beyond the slider without authorization from the team leader. So we're now on the other side. I believe. Yeah, we have three grenades. I believe we can just throw the grenade and then we'll have to backtrack to the roof that we started at. Let's see here. I'm glad. <laughs> hey, Alex. Uh, I'm glad you're playing all those non Apogee published games. Um, yeah, I try to go for the obscure stuff. Well, this is the obscure FPS stream. Well, this is again. This is considered to be a bad game, and I think have I made my case uh, that uh, that this is not really a bad game. Did I throw it? Oops. Uh-oh. Uh I should have cleared it out. Uh, have I? Yeah, I tr uh, actually I have thought of styling this more um, after DOS and I... Crap! And I don't particularly want to do that. Also, can I just blow him up from here? Oh! Excuse me, what? Did you see me throw that bag of money? A bags of money now grenades? Wait. Oh, I could have just shot it. Oh, crap, okay. Well... So, were they just explosives? Yes, it is a very, very impressive game. Oh, God. Alright, well. Why am I wasting things? Why am I wasting my explosive bags of money? I'm just gonna shoot those things. And try not to die. So what am I missing? Congratulations, you completed your mission objective. Now proceed to rooftop and wait for the chopper. Yep. 
Get to the chopper! Okay, so now I should save again. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out, I'm that kind of guy. I'm the guy who saves 50 million times. I'm too old to not do that. Except for when I play Thief. Especially Thief 2. I, I try to get through the entire mission no matter what. With no saves. That's more fun that way. Alright, let's get those guys. Oh shit, ah oh, fuck. Ah. Collision detection work, 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 work. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Hopefully I won't run out of bullets. Wait, is this where they... This is garbage, so that means on the other side of this is the exit. Oh, there's a gun. I don't need it. Wait, there's another elevator. Right? No. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see if I can just jump. Whoop! But I never killed that guy there, right? Oh shit! Oh no, it's this guy. Did I save? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I can't even jump over this. Okay, let's try this again. It's not that difficult, trust me. If I'm, if I'm managing to make it this far... Uh, it's it's not that difficult. <sighs> oh, is this where I have to? Wait, this is where I saved. Unfortunate. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what did I do then? What did I do afterwards? Yeah, like everything is line segment, and also if you've seen before, the the segments can also be horizontal. Oh yes, that's what I should have done. Should I save? Let's let me save. I'm not doing too too hot, but. Oh, is that why? Is that why I'm carrying explosive money? There's an explanation. Oh, crap. Oh, this time there are enemies. And, and naked dudes. Walking is hard. Look at that render. When you're in the room, it doesn't do that picture on the wall. <laughs> Funny. <sighs> well, crap. Well, I think there's some healing things, but all right, let's jump. Ugh. See, I get them and jump in the straight line. Okay, so now this, uh, and now there's two dudes here. Should I attempt to do this? Well, I, I mean, yeah, the surfaces can be... You'll see, I'll, I'll point out, there's a desk where it, where you can just do a thing that hangs in the air and it's flat. I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll make it. I'm too wounded. 
All right, let's try it. So close. And I did it by mostly just not killing anybody. I left like two thirds of the enemies. Yes, Terminal Terror is like a big example game of what can be achieved with Pi 3D. And it's not good. Okay, so basically there's no way I'm doing this. I have to go back and see if I can get some healing items. Yeah, Isle of the Dead. There's that. That happened. Not a fan of it either. <sighs> Maybe there's some healing items behind this door. If I ever manage to open it. Did I open it? Let's kill them before they kill me. Yes, yes, there's a med kit. Oh, there was more than one? Cool. Yay, well that was easy. Yeah, I probably don't even have to save. 15 other games. Sir, there's a lot more than 15, trust me. They're just not listed. Again, anybody could make them. All right, now let's do this. Oh, we're so close. We're gonna—I've never actually finished this game, but, uh, uh, but, um, yeah. Oh, what did I? Did I just exit? I saved, right? Okay, now let's do it. Let's see if we can, because you sort of, you can you can overshoot and bounce off the ceiling. Um. Ah, look at that! I'm just nailing it today. Ah, <laughs> look at that! Whoa! Also, who cares? And yeah. See? This is the desk. See what I mean? Like that. Alright. I think there's going to be a boss fight on a roof. So, let me save. Let's resume. Saving takes forever. And let's see. Where are you? Oh, here's a helicopter. Ah! He's giant! Can I throw some money at him? Oh. That was the boss! That was the boss! Congratulations, the world brings the collective side of the relief for the news as Devor's demise. You relax, blah, 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 blah. Celebration is underway. Look at that. Well, what does everybody think? Not too bad, right? Well, it was short because I knew what to do. But also, yeah, it's more on the adventure side than anything else. Let's see what else is on my list. Oof, do I want to do this to myself? Uh, I guess maybe, yeah, I think I think I... 
Yeah, there's slope, uh, slope, uh, sloped roof on the, on the house. Let's uh, restart. And uh, who? What country do you think? We're gonna go for something foreign. What country do you think the next game is gonna come from? Because if you said Russia, you were right. Did anybody say Russia? To close my... Uh, <laughs> close my uh, thing for a second. So we're going to play, if it ever runs, um, uh, <laughs> Russian game Liquidator from, from 1998. The thing is, this is a Duke Nukem 3D total conversion, which was packaged and sold in Russia in a box. Um, yeah. And it's very janky. And you'll see how and why. Let me know if I need to adjust the volume. Virtual Reality Agency. Hello and welcome to our agency. Unfortunately, all our tourist destinations are currently closed. But... <laughs> I don't even I don't even want to translate this. Поэтому не торопитесь с ответом. Кафе расположено на первом этаже в вашем распоряжении. Если вы приняли положительное решение, то пройдите в компьютерный класс. Кафе. с картами предстоящего путешествия. Посетите выставку. Рекомендуем пройти в арсенал и испытать оружие. Yeah, this is an unlicensed commercial build game. There's uh, Boris Yeltsin who gives you a briefing about aliens yeah, he tells you something about aliens how a grenade works information box Something that looks like Doom maps. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? Your ad, your ad could be here. Okay, really funny. Now let's see what we got here. Stranaigra, uh, Game.exe, and Navigator Gravomir. Yes, the the trifecta of Russian games journalism. Out of three of them, Gaming Game.exe was the only one who was that was worth a damn. Daniel, thank you very much. Much appreciated. All right. So there's an there's an exhibition. I don't have to translate this one. Some three D renders. There's a skeleton and a skull. Arsenal. Uh, 
Alright, so you get some weapons. Love those games. Love those first person shooters that just give you the thing. What? How did I get hurt? Hey, publisher logo, Akela. And a funny thing about them, by that point, they were started out as a pirate company. Um, and I think nobody knew who actually was in charge of one of the biggest Russian pirate companies for many years, but I think it was confirmed it was them, like 15 years after, after, after the fact. Um... Okay. Oh, you have to use it to pick up. Okay. Okay, I guess we finished the level. Alright. A remote village. Let's get to the first actual level. Of course they took our, all, our, all our items away. What is that sound effect from? Alright, and now you'll see what that's all about. Hey, hey! Whoa! Brian, thank you so much! Thank you, always nice to see you. What is that supposed to be? Uh, what is rusky.exe? That um, changes VGA font for uh, Russian support. If, if you don't have the code page loaded, you can just load the, the program, it'll modify. Uh, what was that? Well, I don't know. They, do they hurt me? Oh! Wow, I'm alone. Okay, this is... Everything does so much damage. I can't kill those things, okay. Can I open this? Of course not. <laughs> wow. Oh, you can drink bad items? Ugh. Yeah, needless to say, not... Is that a secret? Why? Oh. Here we go. Needless to say, um, a lot of a lot of Duke is still preserved in this. I don't know where to go, what to... like, what is all this stuff? Secret? You have to use the key to pick it up? That's a lot of damage! Okay, you can use the key. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Can I take it? 
What is this for? Oh! Whoa. Uh... I died? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see this again. So, in a secret... Oh, I got... I got 100... I got 100 uh, armor. So if I don't touch it, nothing happens? Is this just like, you use it and it randomly either gives you something or it kills you? Let's see it. So what happened last time? Oh, okay. Wow, it just kills you. It just kills you. And my game crashed, because I pressed no. Oh no. It just, it just, it didn't even set the flag. Okay, cool. My game did not crash. Okay, so basically I'm gonna do... Wait. Wait, how do I get out? Oh. Uh, this... this is something. How big is this map? How's everybody doing? So far. <laughs> Because I don't know why I did this to myself. Oh. What? Okay, this has to be health, right? Yes. So I can take this key. Oh god, what... What happened? This is... Did this blow up? No, of course not. What is happening? There's a switch. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. And what was that all about? Why? This door opens elsewhere. Uh, okay. Where'd this come from? this do? Absolutely nothing. Like this guy does so much damage. Oh yeah, you can probably you can probably get squished. There's a yellow key. Oh, which I do have now. Like, what if I didn't have the? Whoa. Really? Whoa, no, no. What's... Oh, it's this guy. But... Find the yellow key. I already... There better be multiple entry points. No, that's not a secret, it's just their logo. And now this doesn't open. What? What is this? What am I playing?
This door opens elsewhere. Uh, really? What is going on? And now I'm out of... <sighs> yeah, and I can't... You need to shoot those guys. Oh, crap, man. I don't want to shoot them from... Alright, yeah. I, I think I'm done with this. Or let's try a different episode, right? Thanks, lady. Let's get some arsenal. We made this one map and by God, we're gonna use it. Excuse me, what just happened? Wait, oh, there we go. All right. That's more like it. Red key, pentagram, whoa. Okay. Did you just go in a circle? This door opens elsewhere. Why is this a maze? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh. Ah, there's a ghost one. Yeah, no, I haven't played the 2005 one, and nor do I particularly want to. But I thought I didn't—I didn't think it was a remake. I thought it was like a direct sequel. Oh, who cares? What am I doing? What is happening? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Am I supposed to dive in there? Oh, spider! Oh, wait, are those... Those Duke Nukem things that pick you up and carry you places? Jesus. What? what, 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 what? What? Okay, something tells me I gotta clear out. Is there an in-game map? Yeah, it's Duke Nukem, so... Of course there's an in-game map. Alright, let's try the third episode, right? I'm sort of losing my... I'm losing my patience. This is not... This is janky in, the, in, a, in a bad way. In a way that I don't like. Excuse me, what? The claymation wizard? Castle of the Great Brothers. All right. Spiders! Okay. Oh, gosh. You know what? I, I don't even need to kill him, do I? Enemies, huh? Okay. 
This is just baffling on so many levels. Hey, Duke Nukem Sharks. And rats. What is happening? I can't open this. Oh. Whoa! Okay, that was nice. I will admit it. Oh no, the blue one is also not good. Oh, I don't have the red. Ah. Yeah, okay. That's... That's Liquidator. T take from it what you like. Play some blood. No, blood is not obscure enough. Okay, let's move on to something um, more interesting. Actually, I want to try something that I have not played before, which is always fun. Um, so, we're going to play... Um, oops. A shareware game. Shareware first-person shooter, that's always good. Okay, what's with that frame rate? Is that what it's gonna be like? You have Mars 3D, you go. Actually, not Mars 3D, but I have 3D Hero installed, and that was on my list, just in case. Well, this doesn't look too bad. So, this is Quiver. I have the registered shareware version. Let's try episode one. Alright, I'm tough. Oh! Oh, wait. Does it actually bend anything? Yes. Well, kind of. Oh. That's nice. I'm gonna guess standard controls. Who played this? Let me know if you have played this. Feels like you're looking up. Yeah, this is... Also, do I need to make it louder? It's kind of... low. Let's see what we got here. This is number one. This is number two. Okay. Okay, you're picking up with use. Frame rate and clear is better depending on the uh, settings in DOS box. It's not a bad game. Well, I have max cycles, so... Hey, that same library sound from Doom. Wow, your life can just go up... ...indefinitely? Can you guys hear a game? Like, I can barely hear it. I think I'm gonna turn it up on my end. Marathon 2 would not be obscure, nor would it be a DOS game. Mac and Windows. I'm digging this music. Always nice to... Oh no, you just picked them up, huh? And again... Another one. Was this the third game in a row where uh, where you get weapons in special rooms before you actually go anywhere? It seems to be a theme. Is there a map? Yeah, there is a map. Oh, nice. I like this little arrow. And you can see the places that you can see through. Interesting engine. I, I, interesting representation. Okay, so there's a sloped wall. What's it look like? Okay. I mean, that's not sloped like on, a, on an angle. Oh, wait. Does, does the game have... Uh... Mm. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. Well, they're, they're both maximum, so yeah, no. Should probably try what the weapons are. Okay, this feels like this is probably too much. Okay, 150 units. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, enemies are kind of jank. But it's okay. Is it one of those games where the levels are just unnecessarily giant and, and, and mazy? Because it feels like I'm on level 1 and it's like that already, and I'm not not particularly a big fan of, of that school of level design. Yeah, I don't have the key. Yeah, excess is pretty bad. Well, maybe excess is good when it's meant to be played online, but I don't, I, I don't see it. So I can't. And how did I see it through this? Why did it render it? Three D floors? Like what kind of three D floors? You need to collect all three orbs along with the keys to exit. Uh-huh, okay. I mean, beige is not the worst. There's something on top here. Hmm. Maybe not. It's not very apparent on the map, so... Let's see. Uh, how's everybody doing? There's some enemies. Let's get some enemies. Blasters. Ooh. Yeah, enemies are kind of janky, not gonna lie. Can I jump? Corpse Corporate Warrior. Not on stream. To jump up the platform and collect the key. The store's hammer obscure. I'm whoa. I'm gonna go with the um, with a yes. Can I shoot through the yeah I can. Whoa, now that's a jump. Thank you, sir. Or, or, uh, thank you, person. That's the highest jump I've seen in a long time. Also, honestly, so far it doesn't feel... Okay, so this is one of those orbs, huh? 
So I need to collect three orbs on each level. Is that what? Uh, is that what? Uh, what? It and also, yeah, does this go underground? So there's like levels under levels. <laughs> Interesting. So does each map fit on like one screen? No, there's nothing here. Okay, so I've been here. Do I have keys? I have I got the blue key, right? And the blue is that the blue door, or is it just blue something? Yeah, I'm not actually Rise of the Triad. To be honest with you, I'm not. I, I feel Rise of the Triad is overrated. R Rise of the Triad is over. Is very ambitious, it's very fun, and I respect its spirit, but I don't actually think it's a fun game. I think it's pretty repetitive, makes a lot of design missteps, but, you know. I appreciate all the crazy stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, boxes of Nintendo DS's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Well, this, like, for the first time is, like, a powerful enemy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, yeah, that's cool. Did you see that? Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm taking screenshots here. Should have taken. Dang it! <laughs> uh, are you planning on giving Rebel Moon no hates ago? Not today. So I thought Rebel Moon was for Windows. Well, I, I find this game too confusing. Like I you, listen. Like if you're gonna make a, a game like this, make the introductory level easy. Like, make the level where you sort of pick up everything in order and get out and then make make other levels as complicated. This seems like a lot up front. Like, how many people will actually register this game? This feels like there would be a lot of content if that's how every level is. But yeah, I don't particularly feel like sticking with this. And also, I'm surprised it's 9 o'clock already. Um... What was that? Cheat codes. Nice. Awesome. What else do I have uh, on my... Uh, on my... <laughs> uh, do I want to... Do I want to do 3D here? Let's do Last Rites. Uh, I never liked it, but I... Um, uh, uh, but... Uh, Never liked it, but who cares? Wait, uh, the remaster of um, Rise of the Triad? Do you mean that remake from like a few years ago, or is there now another announcement that I missed? Uh, what did I say we we're gonna play? Oh yeah, Last Rites. Let's uh, do this. Who played Last Rites? Who knows what it is? Who've heard of it? Who played it? This is uh, a bigger game than out of everything that uh, that I have um, played before. This is ocean, an ocean game. I guess I've installed it before.
I always like a good game with jukebox. But those are not audio tracks? Either way. Save and exit. Oh, nice. Oh, it just automatically starts. Oh, I love this. I love this 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 era of ocean logo. Hey, I guess I already played it, but whatever. Let's see the options. Resurrected brightness, keyboard controls. Decrease tech level. I have to read this before locating blah 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 isn't it the mission is is essentially kill all zombies yeah it would be fun if there were metal songs but I don't think they are and also isn't there uh, I can 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 they press a key and it will and the resolution will change or no am I missing something oh it's one of those games with inverted controls No, I can't. I can't invert it. Ah, uh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, look at the, the head bobbing. Do like me some uh, 90s dan dancing music in, in, in 90s games. Here they are, right? Yep. Where are my squad members? Where's the rest? Oh God, because of this wobble can't see shit. This inverted mouse thing is gonna mess with me. Switch. Oh boy. Power 
converted to energy field GH180. This is sort of like an interesting concept, but yeah, as a game, I think it's it's sort of boring. Again, like, here's the thing, my thing with uh, first-person shooters. For a first-person shooter, which is why I'm sort of happy that those things are coming back with classic level design. Um, the old first-person shooters were fun because of the abstract level design, and there was a level design. Here is, like, boxes. Like, I'm walking around the city. Um... It's like the same reason I don't find, let's say, Zar interesting, right? I think Zar is interesting from a technical standpoint, but it's not really interesting to play because there's just that many levels you can get from, you know, height map, landscape, map that loops. Like, so it's not interesting. Like, I'm already lost. I don't know. I don't know where the hell I am. This inverted mouse is messing with me. Of course. I don't also like, but that's a 3D object though, which is pretty cool. Is there a zombie next to me? Oh no, just another one of those things. At least we can cheese them. Oh, it, oh, jeez. And the maggots! Okay. Can I kill them? Also, do those kill me? I hope legs don't. The maggots are nice. Power diverted to energy field. FDR four zero. FDR? Warwick House. Is there a map? No, there's a map. Did I walk around in a circle? I think I did. I see something there. Is it a zombie? This pixely mess? Oh, nice. Okay, so there's some structures. Okay, I guess this is what I'm diverting power to. Subway. Can I go there? I guess I should probably turn the power on, right? Or maybe not. Rats? Oh, lots of rats. Mm, tech War runs fairly stably. A lot of things. I feel like I... This is just means of... S safer travel. Oh no. Is there some... Ammo? Yeah, please. I do like the lighting. Like when you fire a gun. It actually... I even have to kill them all? It's not a thing. I mean, in any good uh, zombie game, you should be able to just run past them. Oh. I'm just gonna run. And 
empty streets. Oh, I... Th that's, that's where I was? I just walked on the other end of the map? Music, I like the music. I guess. Uh, empty streets of zombie town. So I guess I should kill them all. Did they just run away? Where are they? Where are you, zombies? Oh, those things hurt him too? Cool. Nice. That's cool. I, I will say that's a nice touch. Friendly fire for enemies is a nice touch. In an action game. But also why they were there. Oh, there's another energy field switch. From? Are those the guys that I ditched before? I guess now I have to kill them. Because I have to fight for that switch. Oh, Come here, legs. Uh, I love me some zombies, but zombies are the best. Not because we're just cool zombies, but. Well, there's some, maybe some. Social satire involved. Ugh. Bjorn, thank you, thank you so much. I will see if there was a message in a second when I stop shooting all those legs. Is that it? Is that it for the legs? No, there's one more leg. <laughs> You're welcome, Bjorn. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. I don't know how um, how often I'll, I'll be able to stream again. I just start a new job. Uh, we'll see what my schedule like, but I would like to stream more often. Especially if it's janky stuff like this. Power diverted to energy field, TYK90. Yes, is this the last switch? Also, what, what's... Okay. Power diverted. That's fairly satisfying. So is the yellow just like a direction or something or... Or is it actually a map marker? Shotgun is so... Shotgun is supposed to be spreadable, what the hell? This is like a pixel perfect thing. The Uzi is so much better. But the shotgun is better for this. So is just the first level like this? Whoa. Or every level is like this now? Where you just walk around throwing switches and hope for the best. Actually, hmm. I thought I had a shotgun. Ah, damn legs. Ah, really? 
Take Sarah. Good work, Commander. Return to drop point. Sector E6 F3. So now I have to go. So the yellow is. And it marked the bonuses that you walked walk by. That's nice. Alright. So now it's I'm up to the rescue zone, right? Ah! I can't walk through. Do I have to go through the subway? Is that what's gonna happen? I do dig the music. It's a bit repetitive, but... Mm. Oh. Wait, what? Commander, mission completed. Okay. All right. Hey. Blah 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 blah. Return to the bar point when the old and then destroyed the mole doors are locked. Hmm, that sounds familiar. All right, let's save. Oh, can't use the mouse. All right, let's see the small. I want to see them all. Oh. Wow. Well, that's a great start. structure dun, 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 dun. I do like the music ah. I wonder who the composer is where are you supposed to get in <laughs> hmm inverted mouse is messing with me is this is this how I'm supposed to get in all right Was that a zombie? The... Or a companion? Oh god, can't see shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, boys! I do like the lighting. I wish I could see what I'm doing. Woo! Okay, that happens. <laughs> what does that sound? Seriously, can you guys, is this just my monitor not calibrated correctly or just like, because I cannot see anything. Oh, 
god. What is going on? So there is no map, at least. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm supposed to throw these open somehow. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Is there a flashlight? No, I don't think so. Don't remember binding one. Maybe that's it. Uh oh. Oh, God. Okay, I can't go back. What are they shooting at? What were my guys shooting at? There's nobody here. Wait, do they also jump and stuff? Oh crap, this inverted stuff is, is, is killing me. Oh no, they don't jump, because I don't jump either. At least not on ledges. <sighs> Okay, I'm almost kind of bored of this. Uh, I get the idea. I'm gonna save. Maybe I'll play it some other time. Seeing how it's almost 10 o'clock, let's end on a high note. Because, well, I actually wanted to play this on my last stream. But now... Um, this game has become more famous because Civi did a review. Um, and, um, uh, yeah. So, if you watch Civi, you probably know what I'm about to, to play. Because we're going to play a Brazilian game. <laughs> Nobody cares for cutscenes. Yeah, that's a title. Pronounce it as you see fit. So yeah, they're aliens. They seem okay, then the military shows up and aliens go crazy. Yeah, janky, janky this is. Crap, man. Oh, come on. Yay. Yeah, mission over. <laughs> uh. Okay, you must rescue the shuttle at any cost. The people are not prepared to handle our technology. One moment, receiving life signs from a survivor. Proceed to the city hospital and find the survivor. So yeah, speaking of engines, take a look at this. This is fairly buildy, but also look at those at these cars. 
Like, these are 3D models with... Uh, with, the uh, You know, texture correction is not there, but... There are 3D meshes. There's cars on the street. Some sprite people. I also couldn't finish the first level when I played it, so... Pretty tough. Tough game. Because there's so many freaking enemies. So yeah, you are, I guess, in touch with aliens. You're helping aliens out who crashed in, in the city in Brazil. And their ship was captured, and a survivor was captured by the government. So you just grab a gun and... Uh... So anyway, I started blasting. The controls are very... Like, look and see, you have a lot of inertia. The controls are very slippery, and it takes forever to turn. But there's floors over floors, sort of. Hello, Russia. You missed the Russian game. Oh yeah, and the soldiers do a lot of damage. Hello, Argentina. Keys. Uh, yes, you can kill the humans. You also have completely unlimited ammo. Like, you can just pick up as much ammo. N not unlimited ammo, but unlimited ammo slots. So you can pick up as much ammo as you can. The engine is janky, but interesting. <laughs> this is Doom in VR. Yes. Wasn't there another key? I guess not. I don't know what all those sound effects are. Oh god. Oh jeez. Okay, there's more keys. I don't know what I'm collecting them for. And look, 3D objects! Can I jump on them? I like that there's no like... Perspective correction. Do love the music. No, I just walked in a circle. But I got another key. There is Doom in VR. I, I, uh, Doom in VR is fairly nauseating. You can strafe with brackets, okay. Are they behind me? No. Where am I getting shot from? Ah, oh, they're just shooting through the through the freaking walls. Yeah, you can't rebind the controls either. Which is always fun.
I'm actually not doing too bad. Surprisingly. Oh. Famous last words. So how does everyone feel about the, 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 the whatever it's called? Oh, oops, the the vir vagina interesting incident, also called also known as alien anarchy. Hospital. See like some recognizable environments. Oh, you can walk through the. Oh look, there's keys. I don't know what I'm collecting all those keys for. This kitchen. Nope. Okay. Oh my legs. Crap. Oh. not that bad. Probably not even the worst game I played tonight. I mean, come on, Liquidator? That mellowed my brain. Whoa, what? Warning! Local police are on the way. As a safety measure, this device will destroy itself. Slaughtering innocent people is not our policy. We regret having trusted you with this important mission to someone like you. What? I lost because of killing civilians? I didn't even kill any civilians in that moment. <sighs> Crap. Let's see where I saved last time. Okay. Oh yeah. Right behind that door were like a million and a half soldiers. Hospital with the freaking keys. Oh, here they are. Okay, got the keys. I should probably save. Of course, music restarts when you save. Were those guys here before when I played last time? Get some armor. Hello, lady. Lady. Wait, what's this? Well, you can step outside. That's always nice. See the cars go, go by. Ah. Nice view. It's nice to have the area that's actually accessible. Ah, there is a map! Huh? <laughs> Liquidator was quirky. I don't know if that's the word that I would use. So I have two different weapons? It looks like the same weapon to me. Like these old door- why can't I open- no, I can't, I can't open them. Is there somebody behind here? Yes, of course there is. Because of course there is! Can I close them? No, I can't. There's like- th there's three medkits there! What am I supposed to do? Oh crap, oh crap! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh crap. Shouldn't have done that. So this is where they're doing the alien experiments, I'm gonna say, right? So how do I go downstairs? <laughs> Most empty buildings, yeah. Oh, now I'm out of now I'm out of ammo. And what am I supposed to do in this case? Obviously absolutely nothing. Ammo pickups. Uh, give me the ammo. Give me the ammo. Am I supposed to get through? Here it is. Oh, I can almost reach it. <sighs> My stock. Ah, yay. Oh, there's more. Yay. 30. 30 in each clip. <sighs> Crap, how did they shoot through there? Can I just jump there? And pick up this medkit? Whoa, blah, 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 blah. Killed the lady. How many civilians am I allowed to kill? Hey, it's a 3Z alien. Look at that. Incoming data. A convoy is leaving. Uh, not vagina. Sorry, Brazilian people in chat. I, this is not intentional, but it is funny. Heading towards a military school in a neighboring city. A trooper in the convoy captured a bioproc like this very one, vital for enabling our shuttle systems. Follow the convoy and recover the bioproc. So, level two? Whoa! Moving! Moving vehicles! Oops. No, that's not pie in the sky at all. Oh, crap. A grenade. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get my ass kicked. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now I'm out of ammo. You know what? Run. What's with the perspective? Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. I can't even shoot. Yeah, ducking doesn't matter. Ah, crap. Okay, you know what? I'm, just, I'm being shot no matter what. Like, this is so annoying. Like, who's shooting at me? So many enemies. Can I get in there? No, I can't get in there, can I? Those controls aren't helping! Hide, I hide. Like, who shot? Oh, you can still turn around when you're dead. What is this level? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, no line of sight from anywhere. Okay, I'm safe for a little bit. There's a med kit there. Mm 
And I'm out of ammo. How do I use this grenade? Grenade, grenade. Oh. I mean, appropriate music. I'm terrified. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh boy! Seriously? Is there some kind of a secret I'm missing? So obviously I don't want to go this way. Although I've only gotten... Yeah, I have to hold N to do this. Oh no, hold on. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Fucking shit. Turn! Oh wait, you can just shoot corpses? And you can walk around when you when you did. No, I have no melee attack. Okay, so, yeah, straight shot. There's some ammo on the corner there. shooting me I am in the freaking trench this better be direct fucking line of sight somewhere like is this this guy is that who's shooting me I can, I'm good at, at, at NAM, I'm not good at this. The fact that controls aren't, aren't re rebindable doesn't help. Okay, maybe this way is actually better. Oh, crap, I keep running out of ammo. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. Damn it! <sighs> I'm gonna just sit in this truck for a bit. Also, what do you think is this? Um, is it just the textures like this? Like everything has like a grain on it. It feels like some kind of weird optimization technique. You know what I mean? Like literally. Ah, oh, it's seven o'clock. I gotta, gotta wake up early tomorrow. <sighs> Let's uh, see if I can do. Um, Oh! Yeah, you start with zero ammo, of course. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Oh, I didn't even pick it up. Oh no, you have to switch weapons. Warning low ammo. I no. And I'm out of ammo again. Okay. Huh. 
How do I select grenades? Should I? Let's save. <laughs> Did anybody die? No, of course not. <laughs> what? How did it end up here? Uh oh. Did I. Is that what happened? It just bounced off? Let's look at the. Wait. Yeah, yeah, look. Sloped surfaces for that bridge. I don't even care about anything else anymore. Look at that. And. Yeah. Stuff over stuff. That bank also had the upper floor on the previous level. The bank had the surface above the. <sighs> Give me my grenade time. I liked it. Oops. I love how it just bounces off their heads. Oh, no, 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 not, not save. Don't save. Yeah, the grenades are not the greatest. You killed that guy. But also, like, I was hoping that you can, like, trick the engine into, like, getting through the window by jumping and crouching. But no, you cannot do that. Will it take him out? It's, ah, it takes him out. <sighs> okay. I have to go soon, but I don't want to give up that easily. Looks like the explosion radius goes through goes through walls. <laughs> oh, is there like a lighting effect? Okay. So... The thing is, I'm going to run out of grenades eventually. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, uh, guy. Okay. I have to go. I hope you uh, enjoyed the Vargina incident. And all the other games that I've played. This was fun. Thanks for all the tippers. And uh, thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch me play <laughs> games of, you know, somewhat questionable quality. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll... Uh, What's going on here? Hopefully, uh, we'll um, we'll get to uh, see each other again soon, and I get to finish some of my videos that I have uh, lined up. So it's not just streams. And yes, well, happy end of the week or beginning of the week, depending on uh, where you are in the world. And uh, take care of yourself, stay good, stay healthy, and uh, most importantly, uh, keep playing DOS games. Alright? See you, everyone.